Hello, everybody, and welcome. I am the OGG of Greg Osmond. Thanks for joining me today. Episode number 54 of World of Outlaws Dirt Racing. If you missed the last episode and click the eye in the top right of the screen, go check that out. Make sure you like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel to follow up this and everything else we got going on. As always, check out the video description for our link tree link to our great channel supporters and sponsors. Make sure you go support those who support us. That is the best, or that is one of the easiest ways to show and support the channel, uh, aside from actually subscribing. So episode 54 here, like I said, uh, uh, in our first and hopefully only regional season in the UMP mod. Uh, I got some parts and repairs to do, uh, but just to recap, so far we have an eighth place finish in the first race at Fairbury. Uh, second race at Millstone Park, we finished seventh. Fourth place run at Eldora, and then Kokomo, we rounded out with a top sit or a sixth place finish. So up on tap today, we got Lucas Oil Speedway in Wheatland, Missouri. Oh, wrong button. And then Circle Lake Raceway in Michigan. Got some repairs we've got to make here, but first and foremost, I want to check. We got sixty nine thousand five hundred fifty five dollars in the bank. Uh, we do have enough to get everything upgraded to a level four front with the tires. So what I think I might do, ooh, actually, no, I'm going to hold off because after our first race, we should have enough to upgrade the engine to level three. So we're just going to go ahead and repair everything for now. Uh, and we only need $73,000. Uh, let's call it 75 just to be safe for repairs sake. Um, we only need that much to get the engine upgraded to level th three. Uh, and if I'm correct, I did already go through and update all my money there. So, yep. Uh, so we'll hold off on that uh, for now. But next race on tap here, we've got Lucas Oil Speedway in Wheatland, Missouri. Like I said, 40 lap main event, $12,500 to the winner. Let's go. All right, practice and qualifying are complete. From Lucas Oil Speedway here. We did get the sponsor bonus in practice, but not in qualifying. We qualified in the ninth position, P9. So we're rolling off from the second position in heat race number four. What do you guys think about the new look? We got our new sponsor on board with Metro Plumbing. And got the paint scheme to reflect all that. So let me know what you think about that, if we need to adjust it or whatnot. But heat four is where we will be starting in the second position. It is good. Uh, no, top four advanced to the A main, top two through to the qualified dash. Here we go. Ready to go green flag. Got Mikey Ledford there to our inside. We'll throw it down in a turn, turn number one. Make a little bit of contact with old Mikey there, but no harm, no foul. Everybody pointed the correct direction as we continue on with lap number one. Wow, slid up quite a bit there. Coming out of turn number four. Ooh, got real loose going into turn number one. Nobody able to make a move on us. We're going to hold on to the second position so far. Get through turn three and four. Complete second lap. Ten lap heat race this time around. We got Tyson Blood directly behind us trying to get by. Put himself into that qualified dash. We had a good qualifying effort with a ninth place run. Happy with that for sure. Ooh, we're going to enter turn number one a little higher than normal i uh, was going to help us on the exit blood tried to make a run at it wasn't able to really make anything happen through turns one and two we're going to come around now complete lap number four as we've got six laps remaining here at wheatland missouri's lucas oil speedway we are now halfway home at the line this time by five up five down and throw it in to turn number one. Ooh, saw the nose a little bit by blood. Ooh, gonna nick the wall just a little bit down the back straight away. It was close to that infield tractor tire as it possibly can. I don't really want to get much closer than that. We left the door open for blood. Not able to capitalize that time by. We're gonna drive it right back down into turn number three hard. We're gonna slide up a little through the middle and off of four. No harm, no foul, nothing, nothing done there. We're we're altering our line just a little bit, getting a little bit of a better run uh, through through the corners now. Ooh, got to watch out for that infield tire. Ooh, going to slide up quite a bit there. Coming off of four as we've now got two laps remaining here at Lucas Oil Speedway in 
Wheatland, Missouri. Through three and four around the lap car. Coming off of four. White flag is in the air. See if we can hold off blood to put ourselves into the qualified dash where we would start eighth. We are going to do just that off of turn number four. P2 started second, finished second, plus minus zero. So we're going to start eighth, or start ninth, I'm sorry, in the qualified dash. Oh, yeah, five heat races. Ah, goodness gracious. Yep. All right, Mikey Ledford gets the win. We're going to come home second, qualifying through to the uh, qualified dash. And Tyson Blood and Alan Weiser, local boy from me, uh, going to come home third and fourth, respectively, putting themselves into the A main. All right, qualified dash time from Lucas Oil Speedway. We're going to start in the ninth position. That is where we qualified. See if we can improve our starting position or if this is going to hurt us. All right. How we finish this is how we start the A main. So if we finish ninth, we start ninth in the A main. We are starting ninth here in this qualified dash. Let's get going. Green flag is out down the front straight away into turn number one. Looking to the inside of Austin Holcomb. See if we can gain some spots here on the initial circuit. Ten laps is the distance. Ooh, made a little bit of contact there with Weaver or Weaver or however you pronounce his name. Put us into the eighth position, though. Going to look to the inside of Michael Long. Now we're through one and two. Down the back straightaway. Ooh, who is that? I don't know who that is. That's Adam Stricker. That was very unceremonious, sir. There was no call for that. No call for that at all. We are now uh, plus one on the field from where we started. Started ninth up to the eighth position here in this 10-lap qualify dash. Trying to make a move here on Michael Long. He's just got a little bit too much. Coming off the corners, not really able to make a move on him just yet. I'm hoping uh, with that engine upgrade we're going to get after this race event, the race night, I should say, uh, with that engine upgrade, we should be in a much better position uh, to, to win some races here. I want to want to win some races. We didn't win a whole lot in the 305, so I want to want to change that here with the UMP mod. Uh, at the regional level. So we're going to have, I believe, four laps remaining at the line. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Bounce it off the wall as I see Long and Weaver get into it down the front straight away. wonder if that damage is going to slow either one of them down. It doesn't appear like it will. Or if it has, my damage has slowed me down an equal amount. Uh, but... Nonetheless, we're going to come out of turn number four, see two sticks in the air, two laps are remaining here at Lucas Oil Speedway in the qualified dash. Is that Rick Conoy or the Destroyer out to the race lead? He looks to be starting this A feature on the pole position. One lap to go. Doctor's jacket is in the air. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, and I gave up eighth. You know what? I'm okay with that because I didn't want to start on the outside anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just lost it. Uh, I lost it going through one and two, but not not a big deal. We didn't lose any spots. We didn't gain any spots. We're going to start on the inside, though, which is completely fine with me. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, Rick Conoyer gets the win. Will Krupp comes from second. Kyle Strickler, Tyler Nicely, third and fourth, and then rounding out the field, you got Michael Ledford, Michael Long, Jordan Weaver, Austin Holcomb, myself, and Adam Stricker. A main time. Metro Plumbing wants us to finish in the top five. I think we can do that. We're starting ninth. I think we got 40, 40 laps to get it done. Let's go. Main event, A main time, Lucas Oil Speedway. Mikey Ledford starting fifth, finished fifth in the dash. 
Kyle Steffens finished fourth in heat three. He's going to start from 18th. Adam Stricker finished 10th in that qualified dash. He's going to start. And there we are. Finished ninth in the qualified dash. Going to roll off the grid from ninth in the Metro Plumbing. Number 25. Here we go. Green flag is out. We are racing from Lucas Oil Speedway, Wheatland, Missouri. Going to get into turn number one and two. A little gentler than I normally would, but going to grab a couple positions because of it. Put us up to the seventh position down the back straightaway. And wow, sixth place at the line is what I think we were credited with there. And we're moving forward even more. Had a bad exit of turn number two there. Lost a little bit of momentum. We're holding down sixth position. We only need one more spot for that sponsor incentive goal. All right, let's see if we can settle in here. Get some good laps under our belt. Will Krupp running in that fifth position right now. Trying to get by Mikey Ledford. Not able to do so that time by. 37 laps to go. We're going to try to just get by Will Krupp on our own. And then set our sights on Mikey Ledford. But no, Krupp's going to keep putting that bottom side on Ledford. Not able to make anything happen. 36 to go now. Four laps are complete. We're working lap number five. Down the back straightaway. Krupp now. Pass lever. Oh, wow. Contact a Rooney. Any contact? Oh, we got it. Okay. <coughs> All right. Nicely got into Weaver, I believe it was. Um, we have a little bit of nose con damage. I don't think it's a lot. I need to drop down. Okay, there we go. I'm not good on the top or the middle here, even though I'm going to slide up into the middle anyway. So... We're going to hold on to fourth, down the back straightaway. First lap of this restart, we're going to hold on to the fourth position. Man, that was a... Uh, I don't know how we were able to split the river there. and uh, I, 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 I you know, The seas parted for us. We were able to sneak through with minimal damage. I'm not going to say no damage because we do have a tiny bit, about 5% of arrow damage to the nose. So... It wasn't a, a no damage situation. I almost screwed myself up right there. We lose a lot of momentum after that mistake. Let everybody close back in. Will Krupp behind us. Will Krupp, I believe, is who, who caused that caution. Uh, I don't remember, actually. But let's move on, move forward. 10 laps are complete. We're one quarter of the way through this 40 lap main event. We're running in the fourth position. Kyle Strickler has gotten by Mikey Ledford for the second position right now. As they're both trying to hunt down Rick Conoyer, who is the race leader. We've got a little bit of damage to the nose from an aerodynamic perspective. Doesn't really seem to be affecting the handling or performance of the car too much. If it is, it's not hugely noticeable. So... I do feel like we are reeling in Mikey Ledford for third. I'd love to grab a podium position, a podium finish here at Lucas Oil. Ooh, Strickler gets into it with a lap car there. Oh, that's Austin Holcomb. Wow, that's un uncharacteristic running position for Holcomb right now. Running in 25th last uh, right now for Holcomb. No slower, no lap cars are slowing up the top three. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Wow. I just, ugh. That's going to give us a little bit. Oh, wow. 7% more aerodynamic damage because of that. Okay. We got a second back to Will Krupp. No immediate pressure from him right now. We work lap, lap 17 of 40. Leader is now deep into, I shouldn't say deep, he's now just getting into the rest of the back of the field. Austin Holcomb was way off the pace. We've just now caught the, the rest of the back markers. Mike Ledford about half a second in front of us at the moment. We can get a good run off of turn number two here. Close in, close that gap just a little bit. Getting through lap traffic is going to be imperative here. Oh, big. Oh, wow. Lots of stuff going on there. I, I heard the crowd go, oh, before I even saw it. So, 
I don't know if the first or second runner got in that. Mikey Ledford came in at the last second. I don't know if the damage is going to register for him, though. But we are back green flag racing here. It'll be interesting to see how that accident will affect everybody. It looks like Kyle Strickler may have been part of it as we're going to get to the inside of Strickler. Yes, sir. Look at that. Up to a podium position now. Let's see if we can improve on it even more as we are now on the back half of this race. We're looking to the inside of Mike Ledford for the second position. Yes, sir. At least for now. No, he's going to power back on the top side and grab second back from us. Strickler fighting hard to try to get the third spot back as well. We're going to try to get by Mikey Ledford, put ourselves second on the podium instead of on the short step. 17 laps remain. Rick Conoyer is still your race leader. I'll have to go back and check the replay, see exactly what happened on that caution. Uh, I'm pretty sure Kyle Strickler was involved in it. To what extent, I'm not sure, as he's going to try to slide up in front of us through one and two. I tried to close the door, wasn't really able to. But he's going to slide back by and grab the okay. He just slammed on the brakes coming off of turn number four. Not really sure what happened there. Jordan Weaver, Tyler Nicely going to get by us as I, I had to ginger it. Gosh darn it. Come on, Greg. All right, we're back to the sixth position now. So I got up on that top side, and in order to keep from sliding off onto the plateau area, I had to kind of gingerly tiptoe it uh, or pedal the throttle. We're going to get back uh, by Tyler Nicely for fifth. Jordan Weaver now it holds down fourth. Uh, we got Weiser and Holcomb, the lap cars in front of us. And there is, you see, fourth place running Jordan Weaver. I pulled the leaderboard here. And keep an eye on distances. About half a second-ish to Weaver right now. Wow, lots of, uh, lots of attrition here. So we've now got 11 laps remaining. All right, Weaver jumps to the top. Watch the tire, Greg. Wow. Okay. Oh, boy. That was my fault. Absolutely, 100% my fault. Uh, don't really know why they threw a caution, though. But, hey, I'll take it. Bunches up the field. Gets everybody back together. We have under 10 laps remaining here on this restart. Green flag back out. We have to watch how the car is going to handle now. I'm presuming it's going to be very tight. Not as bad as I thought it would be. Weaver looks to the inside of Ledford. Strickler goes back to the second position. Uh, see if we can get by Ledford here for the fourth spot. No, nothing doing. So we're working lap 33 right now. We'll have seven to go at the line to the inside of Ledford. Not able to make it to pass. Happens seven laps to go, like I said. Pull the leaderboard one more time. There we go. Running in the fifth position. Started ninth. Let's remember that. Started ninth. Got Adam Stricker behind us. Tyler nicely behind him. Uh, all right. See, so we mount a charge here in these last six, five and a half laps. We're going to have five laps to go at the line. Strickler has been, man, he's been trying to run down Rick Conoyer the entire race. Hasn't been able to make anything happen. Five laps to go. Fistful of phalanges flying in the air. As Conoyer has gone topside. Oh, thought I was going to get into a Ledford a little more than I did. Didn't want to spin him out. Didn't want to spin him out at all. We got four laps to go now. Coming around for three laps to go. Got to watch out for those infield tractor tires. But we're now into the back of the field. See if that's going to affect how we get through here. See if we can gain any spots because of it. No, we've got Carter here. Get by Carter. We're going to come around here. Two laps remaining. Two sticks in the air. All right. Get by Alan Weiser. Having a very uncharacteristic night for him as well. Running in the 24th position. Watch the tire, Greg. Tyler nicely going to try to capitalize on that mistake. White flag is in the air. One lap remaining. Not presented by Credit One Bank. Let's see if we can get by Austin Holcomb here. The 23rd. He's getting a couple spots. This last time we saw him, and off of turn number four, 
fifth place at Wheatland Lucas Oil Speedway. I will take it. We started ninth, finished fifth. Oh boy, that was a that was a barn burner for sure. But Rick Conner gets the dub. Kyle Strickler comes home second. Jordan Weaver rounds out the podium. Michael Ledford, myself, your top five. Oh boy, I'm kind of glad that one's done. We come out with a top five after starting ninth. Uh, third place in the point standings right now. Let's take a look. Mikey Ledford holds on to the points lead. Jordan Weaver in second. There we are. 59, 69, 89, 89, 09. We're 41 points behind Mikey Ledford. We got a lot of work to do. Got a lot of work to do before the end of this season if we want to grab that title. 7,500, 2,687, 1,270, and 351. We're going to leave Wheatland to Lucas Oil Speedway with 11,808. That should be enough to get that next level engine upgrade. But let's go to the race shop and find out. All right, back in the race shop. Top five sponsors happy with that. 81,055. So we definitely have enough to get our next level engine upgrade. Got some repairs to do before our next race, too. So, hey, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. All right. See here. We are Greg Osmond caused a massive wreck. I caused a massive wreck? What wreck did I cause? Osmond totaled my car, exclaimed Michael Long. Of course I'm looking for payback. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like we got to look out for Michael Long. That's not good. Season one, race number five, we finished in the fifth position. 15%, I'm sorry, 19% complete. Circle Lake is up next. Here we go, parts and repairs. First thing first, we're going to go by the engine stuff purchase that we should have about nine thousand dollars left over uh, when we're done with all these purchases level one so we're level three with the engine now upgrades first upgrade we got done second upgrade is done third is on the way there we go Got our 16% mechanic part discount. 85, 58 is what is remaining. Go ahead and repair the rest of our stuff for 1506. There we go. 120 out of 120, 60% upgraded, 66% overall durability. Yep. All right, Circle Lake is up next. It's Trek in Michigan. 40 laps is the distance. 5 eighths mile mid bank track. 10 5 to the winner. Let's go. All right, qualifying and practice done. No sponsor bonus from either one. Qualified, I think it was 12th, somewhere around there. Um, so we're going to end the heat in the second heat. I believe we're starting third. Circle like big, wide open, foot to the floor track. Here we go. Heat race time. No, no, no. Top four to the A main. Because we have five heat races. Top four. Starting from the third position. Here we go. Green flag is out. Here we go. Ooh, car's a little wibbly wobbly, bibbly bobbly. Lose a few spots there because I had to get the car under wraps. Yikes. The car's just a little, a little skatey right now. Not really sure what's going on. All right, got our first couple laps in the book, or first lap in the books here. Car is a little more stable now that we're at speed. Got that downforce working for us now. We are in the fifth position, so we are the first man looking out. When it comes to transfer cars, I do not want to run a B main, especially here. But Van and Top, is, I believe that's Tanner Van and Top or Traff. Jesus. There's like nine of them in this game. Travis Vanatop. Now let's look to the outside of T-Rav. TV. Uh, ooh, bad corner entry for us. Let's see if we can make a move on the top side. No. I'm going to have to set up the exit so I have... And that was not, not at all how you want to set up a corner exit. But uh, All right. I need to set up the corner exit so we have a good run coming off the corner. We can dive to the bottom or dive to the inside coming off the corner to get my van top down the straightaway. Hopefully that made sense and I didn't bungle that up too much, but there, just like that, we got the run going down the front straightaway. 
five down, five to go. We're going to slide in front of T-Rav TV. We grab the fourth position in that final A-Main transfer spot at the same time. And we keep it down. Plaster on the bottom here. Yes, sir. Give us the fourth spot. Yeah, that was slower than both of my qualifying laps. So that I should tell you everything you need to know about how quick we're running right now. Uh, but yeah, really just need to settle in. I say that all the time, I know. But uh, the car was just so skatey. It was all over the place. Those first, that first lap, especially on the initial start. Uh, Will Krupp running in the fourth position. Adam Stricker in second. And I believe that's Casey Burdett with the race lead. Uh, we got in by Travis Vandentop have pulled about a second and a half on him. Uh, so no concerns right there of him getting by us. We're going to come around here. White flag is in the air. Even though it's not actually in the air. I, would, I do want them to do that. Give the flagman. Make the flagman actually matter. <laughs> so, all right. Through three and four. And off of turn number four. Down the front straightaway. Check flag. We'll finish fourth. Started third, finished fourth. Did, we did lose one spot, but we still put it into the A main. That's the that's the key thing here. Starting 17th. Going to have a work cut out for us. Casey Burnett gets the race. Wayne Adams Tricker going to go along with Casey into the qualified dash. Will Krupp well, comes home in third, and myself in fourth. The four A main transfer cars. All right, A main time. Let's see if we can do a little bit better going to move the setup there. All right, we've got a goal of a top five for Metro Plumbing. Starting 17th. Got a work cut out for us. Let's go. All right, festivities are complete. It's main event, a main time from Circle City. Ray Bollinger finished fourth and he won. He's starting 16th. Michael Long finished seventh in a dash. He's gonna start seventh. We got James Walker, won the B main. He's gonna start 21st. And there we are rolling off from the 17th position. We finished fourth in heat race. Number two, we got Ray Bollinger, Kyle Steffens. And is that Mikey Ledford? Right in front of us, it is Mikey not having a great race as well. A great race event, race night, I'm sorry. Rick Conoyer, last race, is, last race winner back here as well. So, wow, this is a pretty stacked midfield, if you want to call it that. So, here we go. Up one already. Got by our buddy Ray Bollinger there on the initial circuit. 39 laps remaining. Oh, Zeke McKenzie gets into it with... Mikey Ledford, we're going to jump a wholesale bunch of positions up to 12th. Plus 5 already on the field. Now we're going to restart in the outside, so we got to get to the bottom as quickly as we possibly can. Here we go. Green flag is back out. Get behind Tyler nicely to the bottom. There we go. I'm a bottom feeder. They call me Catfish. I'm a bottom feeder. Now Mikey Ledford is about 40 points ahead of us. With the points lead. We are third in the point standings right now, but he's got a 40 point lead over us. I do not remember for the life of me who is in second in the point standings. We're going to put Mikey Ledford in our rear view mirror and quite a bit behind us in our rear view mirror as we're going to jump up to the eighth, ninth position. Hopefully, we can grab the eighth here uh, at the line. Lucas Lee looking to the inside of us. Is he going to be able to make that position pass stick? We're going to Ooh, give him a little bit of room, but he's going to get slowed down by the dropping down Kyle Strickler. We're going to bump back to ninth. Going to try to cross over Lucas Lee back for that eighth position. No, he's going to have it at the line. I think I need to move my microphone up just a little bit. Probably doing that middle of the corners. Not the best idea. Ooh, heavy contact there with, I believe that was Beasley. Mike Beasley, yes, sir. But put us up to the eighth position now. Like I said, this no no damage. So hey, the contact inconsequential. 
running eighth right now. We need three more spons- spots for our sponsor incentive contract. Kyle Strickler running in the fifth position. Whoa, oh boy. That was close. Oh, I think that was Stricker. Beasley gets into Stricker. Stricker turns it around. I would have to guess that probably collected a couple other vehicles during that, but green flag back out. We are in the seventh position now. I can apologize to Lucas Lee after the race for that. Did not mean to. I mean, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the banking or if it's just because I'm on a controller or whatever. But I think Lucas Lee might have got caught up in that uh, in that incident that brought out the caution because he dropped like a lead balloon, like a Led Zeppelin. <laughs> Will crap looking to the inside. I'm from a small town. I crack myself. All right, running in the seventh position. Will Krupp was looking to the inside. Wasn't able to make the pass stick. Here we go. Strickler running directly in front of us in the sixth position. And then Michael Long directly in front of him. Oh, boy. I didn't realize we had such a good run on Strickler through turns one and two, but we did. He's going to power by and have the position at the line, though. 29 laps are remaining. Long slides up through one and two. We're going to try to drop to the inside and capitalize. Let's see if we're able to make anything happen. Strickler now looking to the inside of us through three and four. We're going to be... Oh, wow. Man, this is a great race so far. Car is a little tight through one and two there. We we're able to run the middle and actually get by Kyle Strickler. So we'll go ahead and slap that in the memory bank. Uh, but now we're three wide with Strickler and Long. Long on the top side. Strickler on the bottom. We're going to jump to the top and get real loose through the middle. And that puts us back to the seventh position. Lucas Lee has now caught back up with us. So whatever it was that caused him to, to drop quite a few positions on that restart, he has recovered from. So good to see that. I was feeling bad after the issue on the restart we had with him. Michael Long there up on the top side. See if we can have him cleared from another turn before. Yes, sir, we do. Put us back into the sixth position. Thought he was going to try to drop it down low. Thought he was going to try to drop it down low. Drop it, drop it low. He did not. We're going to look to the inside of Strickler. We do not have the position. He's going to hold on to the fifth spot. Remember, Metro Plumbing, our sponsor, wants us to finish in the top five. So we got to do everything we can to finish in the top five. I think following Kyle Strickler here, he's going to get by Mike Beasley here, probably through this set of corners. We're not exactly getting the best corner entry, especially in turn number three. So we can really work on that. We're doing all right through one and two. We're making up a lot of time through one and two, I believe. Ooh, we've got a little bit loosey-goosey right there. But yeah, we're not entering turn three very well. So I'm going to prove there. There is Adam Stricker caught up in that previous incident. Now running at the back of the field. And who is this? Michael Long mounting a charge, making a move on us. I didn't realize he was that close. Did not see any front tires or anything, so he did not have the position on us yet. Beasley gets back by Strickler for the fifth position, at least momentarily. We're going to make a very weird, very weird line through one and two. <coughs> Excuse me. Strickler, and I believe that's Alan Weiser. Make a little bit of contact down the front straight away. Slows down both of them. Beasley gets by both of them. We're going to close in on Weiser for a top five position as Strickler now looks to get back by Beasley down the front straight away. Ooh, tiny, tiny bit of contact with us and Weiser down the front straight away. We'll see if we can have a good run off of turn number two. Not so much. Not a great entry into turn number three. We're going to slide up through the middle. Weiser's going to look to the bottom to grab the spot back, and we have it at the line. Put us into the top five, at least for the moment. We're going to run through the middle here of one and two. Get a decent run. Not a great run. Got to watch the car getting loose, running anything but the bottom as Weiser is going to have the spot back this time at the line. We're going to drop down as we've got the line. Got a good run 
through one and two. Wow, he slowed down quite a bit through turns one and two. Give us the fifth position. Yes, sir, but he's mounting a charge back on the bottom side. Get a great run. And, oh, I'm not really sure who had the position at the line there. We got to also look in the mirror. Lucas Lee is approaching and approaching quickly. I think if we can hold off Alan Weiser here through this set of corners, let him worry about Lucas Lee while we navigate through the lap traffic. And meanwhile, Kyle Strickler having some issues with lap traffic. We're going to try to squeeze to the outside. Ooh, right as I say that, Alan Weiser peeks his nose back in for the fifth position. Yowza, wowza. What a great race we're having here with some of the best in the business. Ooh, Weiser. Wasn't a lot of room there, but we made it work. I've really just got to try to hold him off. There we go. Now, <laughs> minimize the mistakes. That was one right there. He's going to have a great run coming off of turn number two. Not really able to capitalize on it, though. We're going to get into turn number three. He doesn't have a line to take. We're going to try to use the slower cars to our advantage. He's going to... Ooh, that lap car dropped down right in front of him. He's not going to be happy about that. We're going to come around here. 29 laps complete. 11 to go as we're holding down the uh, fifth position at the moment. As a reminder, if I haven't said it enough already, our sponsor, Metro Plumbing, wants us to finish in the top five. Ooh, Strickler jumps to the top. See if that has any effect on us catching him or not. Okay, by the 20th running walkers, we've got two palms in the air. Ten laps to go. We're going to get by the slower car of Walker. Put him in our rear view. Let's see if we can now approach Ooh, Beasley. Getting stalked by Kyle Strickler. Strickler is right on the bumper of Mike Beasley. Oh boy, see if he's going to be able to do anything. We've had quite a few cautions. I shouldn't say quite a few. Had a decent number of cautions compared to some of our previous races in this one. As Strickler gets into it with Jacob Marker. Ooh, slows him down. Let's see if we can, able see if we can close in on Strickler anymore here. Coming off of turn number four. Where's Marker at? Oh, he's right there. He's holding his own. He's holding his own, but he's he's running his own line. That's fine. Ellen Weiser is still about eight tenths-ish second behind us now. Uh, so we've got a little bit of breathing room there. Six to go at the line. We're trying to hunt down Kyle Strickler for the fourth position. We're running in fifth right now. We started 12th. Remember that we started 12th. Wow, that was a great lap. That was our best lap. That was our best lap. I guarantee it. Best lap. Let's go ahead and check the check the boy. Yep, best lap. Best lap ever. <laughs> wow. That was a great lap. We've caught Adam Strick Adam Strickler. Kyle Strickler. But he pulls away on his Oh! Contact with does destroy our Rick Conoyer. Down the front straightaway with Kyle Strickler. So we're now approaching uh, Ray Bollinger running. Not, that's uncharacteristic for him as well. Uh, but we're going to have three to go at the line. Got about a second and a half back to Alan Weiser. No worries there. I want to get by Kyle Strickler. Ray Bollinger running in 16th. That's, I think, right where he started, somewhere around there at least. No, we started 17th, didn't we? Yeah, we started way in the back. But let's get to the inside, because Bollinger started right in front of us. Yeah, he started 16th. We started 17th. Yeah, all right. Coming around. Regardless, we're coming around a white flag here. No issues behind us. Running in the fifth position. Strickler has caught Beasley now for third. Looks like he's going to try to make a move. No. Is he going to have a run coming off of turn number four? No, he is not. But here we are off of turn number four. Fifth place. We're in. Awesome race. Here are the 
We're going to come home in the fifth position. Jordan Weaver grabs the race win. Casey Burnett in second. Mike Beasley holds on for third. Kyle Strickler in fourth. And we come home with that all-important sponsor incentive of the top five. Oh, boy. That was a great race in my book. Finished in the fifth position. We're going to hold on to third place as Mikey Ledford finishes in 12th. Let's go ahead and check the point standings here. Jordan Weaver. Grabs his first win of the year. Closes in on the point standings by... He's only six points behind Mike Ledford now. 314, 24, 34, 44. We're now 35 points behind. So we gained a little bit on the points lead there. Still holding steady in third. Financially, we are looking at 6,300, 2687, 1350, and zero. So we're going to leave Circle City. Right? Circle City, yeah. $10,337 in the bank. All right, back from Circle Lake. Now, Circle, Circle City is the real track. Circle Lake. So check out the sponsor and send them goal. Add some money, add some fans. Add not a lot of wear on the car. So we're going to save a little bit of money on repairs. That is always good. I like saving money whenever I can. Add some money with our sponsor goal. Completed it perfectly. Circle Lake Season 1 Race 6 finished in the 5th position. We're now 22% complete. Prairie View is up next. I love Prairie View. You guys will not see that one. All right. I'm going to go with a top 15 because I don't think we can win just yet. I went to the top 15. but uh, Up next, we got Prairie View. Uh, you guys will see I-84, so we'll run Prairie View off camera. Uh, you'll see I-84, and then after that, we head to Jacobs County. That will be in the next episode for you guys. Uh, but that is going to do it for us here today. Episode 54 of World of Outlaws Dirt Racing. I am the OGGO Greg Osmond. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.